A visual representation of the Marshall Learner Condition is what we call the J-curve. Let's, um, so this is going to be initially right after a depreciation or devaluation of a currency. And what we need to remember is that because of time lags, remember for PED, uh, one of the determinants is time to respond. So if a currency depreciates, it's not as if that it's going to immediately have an effect on imports and exports between a country and the rest of the world. So because of that, initially, right at first, PED is typically going to be pretty low. Well, let's go into that a little bit further. Let's make sure we understand this. Um, let's say that I, uh, you know, I'm for, from the previous video, we were talking about Hungary and the EU, and maybe uh, Hungarians are very used to buying, say, German automobiles. They really like them or whatever. Um, if there's a depreciation of the foreign, it's not as if they're going to, you know, as soon as that happens, uh, start to, you know, have, that, that preference is going to change. They're still going to like them and probably they're still going to pay the higher price. That is, their demand is going to be fairly inelastic. Likewise, um, if Europeans, uh, Eurozone members aren't really buying Hungarian products, it's not as if the second the foreign depreciates that they're going to think, oh, we really want to buy Hungarian products or we really want to go to Budapest for a vacation or something like that. No more so than they did before. But over time, as that price gets lower and lower and lower due to the exchange rate, um, you will see those preferences begin to change. Another reason this may occur is there may be contracts. So, uh, you know, a, a business that buys a, a certain material or supply from Hungary or Hungarian businesses that buy their supplies from some other Eurozone country. It might take a long time uh, for those contracts to expire. So they may say, you know, with something like, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, lumber or something like that, maybe they've already signed in advance that they'll buy X amount of lumber every month. Therefore, they have to wait for that contract to expire before their demand could actually change. And then finally, it might just be awareness. It's not as if people always know what's going on with uh, exchange rates. So it might just take a while for people to become aware of that and think, for example, oh yeah, going to Budapest right now would be cheaper uh, for a vacation. So I'm going to go there instead of, you know, some other place. Then the other thing that we have to be aware of is that often countries that are experiencing a depreciating uh, currency Often the reason that that is happening is because they're not very developed. So in this case, Hungary maybe isn't the best example, uh, but oftentimes uh, in the next unit when we look at development economics, uh, this will be true of many developing countries, that the products that they make um, are part of the reason why their current account is depreciating, uh, I'm sorry, that they have a current account deficit, and part of the reason why their exchange rate is depreciating because um, they're probably a primary commodity. And as we've discussed before and will continue to discuss in Unit 4, uh, primary commodities tend to have very low PEDs, also have to very low PESs, um, but that's another talk for another day. So what the J-curve shows is that when depreciation is happening, uh, and again, the moment when you, when you start drawing the J-curve, that's the moment the depreciation begins. So, uh, the effect that depreciation will have on the current account is initially, because the PED is low uh, for both, um, for both exports and imports, what's going to happen is that uh, the Marshall Learner condition is not going to be satisfied. So you'll see the current account get further and further and further into a current account deficit. So I'm sorry, on the x-axis, what we have is the current account's balance. Uh, so anything above the line is a current account surplus, so x is greater than m. Um, and then anything below the line um, is a current account deficit. And then the y, uh, I'm sorry, the x-axis is uh, time. So up until the green line, the Marshall Learner condition is not satisfied. Therefore, what we see is the, pre the depreciation causes the current account to go further and further and further into deficit. However, after a certain amount of time, because the time lags will eventually go away, what you'll find is the Marshall Learner condition will be satisfied as PED increases over time. Therefore, from this point forward, continued depreciation, and that's the real key here, is that the foreign, the foreign in this example is continuing to depreciate more and more and more. 
So over time, the Marshall Learner Condition will be satisfied, and at that point, we'll start to see the current account of Hungary get closer and closer and closer to this point to the line, which is a balanced current account.